Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little mini books. They can be used for scrapbooks, they can be used for art journals, they can be used for list making, and you can reuse some of the um, old scrapbooking paper that maybe you were not in love with, like I did on this list book here. I thought it'd be cute for a shopping list, and it's got little pockets in there for you to put tags or receipts or whatever. And um, I just want to show you, it's the same way to make these regardless of whatever paper size you're using. This was made with an 18 by 24 drawing paper as the uh, as the pages. This was made with a 9 by 12 paper as the pages, and this was made with 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. So it'll generally be one eighth of, of the size of the paper you start with. So uh, we're going to make some out of scrapbook paper and make a kind of a shopping list book like this. And what you want to do is um, take a piece of scrapbook paper, and if you want it to be colorful on the outside, like maybe you're making a sticker book or um, you know a little scrapbook or a journal, and you want the color on the outside, you'll want to fold it with the outside out. But if you're going to make a list and you want to use that white backside, then fold it with the right the uh, the right side to the inside. Okay, so we're going to fold this with the pattern on the inside so that we'll have white pages. Okay, just crease it down good, and then unfold it and fold it in half the other way. Just try to line up your edges as best you can. And then fold each side back to the center. Now you could just fold it in half and fold it in half and fold it in half. You could do that. This is just going to make it, ooh, squeaky. This is just going to make it a little bit easier for you to uh, fold when you're making your book. All right, so there we go. Ooh, squeaking again. All right, so then you've got this uh, paper here with a grid. Now you need to cut from here to here. You can do that with scissors. I'm going to do this in a kid's class, and they're going to use scissors, but I actually prefer the look when I use an X-Acto knife because I get a much nicer finish. So I'm going to cut from that fold there at the end all the way through the rest of the paper. And then what you want to do is fold it in half. Okay, and then you're just going to accordion fold each of the uh, the strips that you have. Okay, see how easy that is? Easy as pie. And there you have your pages. Now you'll notice in the middle, you're going to have, see kind of that backside peeking through. So what I like to do there, I'll just open it up like that, and I'm going to make a pocket because if I'm going to use this as a shopping list, then this would be a great place I could tuck coupons or receipts or something like that in there, um, or maybe put a secret list if I'm going to be doing some Christmas shopping and I want to keep that in the car, I can put a secret list in there where the kids won't find it. And there, and that way, now I have just plain white pages. And if you see a little color peeking through, you can trim that off with your scissors. So you want to make as many of these as you want. So let's see how many pages we get if we're doing a pattern. We get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you're doing one without a cover with just plain white paper, you'd actually have nine and ten pages. So, so what I've done is I've made um, three more of these, so I'll have four, and that would give me four times eight pages. 4 times 8 is 24, isn't it? 8, 8 16, 32. 32. Ha, math. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. And so then I'm going to put them all together here. And then I'm going to adhere the colored pages to each other. And so that would give me a little pocket where every, um, where every page met. Don't forget to seal off the bottom or, whoops, it's not going to be much of a pocket. My goodness, my tape gun isn't cooperating. All right, just make sure you have your white pages to the same side there. Glue these together. It's so fun to watch. Not boring at all. I'll sing to entertain you. There we go. One more time. I love this because it uses up some of those uh, scrapbook pages we'd have, scrapbook papers we've had around forever. I like to buy the bulk you know, the stacks of scrapbook paper, because it's so much more affordable, you know, rather than paying 70 cents a sheet, you're getting, you know, you can get 180 sheets for 10 bucks or so. So this is what you end up with. Ooh, look at that. It's basically a big accordion file, a big accordion style thing there. All right, so to make the cover, I'm just going to grab this because it's pretty. Um, I'm going to lay this book in the middle, and this is going to be just like how you would cover um, like a school book kind of. So I'm going to just kind of measure up on one side and then I'm going to fold that one side down. If, as long as you measure, as long as you line up the edge, you should get a nice straight fold and it should be, you know, the same all the way down. Okay. And then I'm going to do that again. I want to leave a little bit of wiggle room, not a ton, just a little bit though. So I'll be able to, you know, get the, the flaps around my book. Okay. Hopefully that's not going to be too tight. Just line it up to the edge and crease it over. 
And then I also like to fold it in the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to look at this and see about, what do I have, about half an inch here, centimeter or so? So I'm going to make a fold next to this one, about a centimeter away. Again, if, as long as we line up our edges, we're going to end up with nice parallel folds. Okay. And then I'm going to put my book in here and figure out how far I need for my next fold. So what, I'm, what I like to do here is actually fold it back, just so I can really see and visualize it here. Hold it there, do the same. Let me just crease that. Get that folded down. It's If you can pre-crease things, you know, it really makes a big difference. really makes it look neat and tidy. And um, let's do that again on the other side. Actually, I could probably eyeball it here. Let's see. I think I could probably, I think that's going to be, you can, you can adjust it. Don't worry if you don't have it exactly right. Okay, let's take a look there. I think that's pretty good. Okay, now we're going to put our booklet in. Okay, so we've got our little folded spine area. That seems to be about right. And then we are just going to slide our end paper, our end page, into the little pocket that this makes. Look at this, we're doing this in real time. You could totally make these for in, in like less than 10 minutes. I think these will also be really cute little stocking stuffers or um, you know, little gifts if you make some, you know, stationery. Maybe throw in one of these little notepads. Everybody needs a notepad, especially like by the phone or something. But look at that. That is so cute, so easy, and so very useful. You could even stick a pen in one of those little pockets you made. So there you have it. Use up that old scrapbook paper. You can also use just a regular computer paper. You can use drawing paper. It's great for the kids and um, something fun to make. I like fun things. Good for craft fairs too. Make them and sell them at your craft fairs and earn some money for Christmas shopping. How about that? I want to thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial. Share it on Pinterest, on Facebook, on Twitter, wherever you like to share things. And of course, tell your friends all about that crazy lady that showed you how to make a book. I want to thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.